Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to remove all data objects from the workspace in the R programming language but one. In this video I'm going to show you an example and for this example we are first creating three new data objects in the workspace and we can do that as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of our studio that we have created three new data objects which are called data1, data2 and data3. We can also print a list of these data objects by running line 6 of the code and in this line of code we are using the ls function. So if you run this line of code you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that a vector of character strings is returned and each element of this vector is showing the name of one of our data objects. So let's assume that we want to remove all of these data objects but the second data object, data2. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 8 and in this line of code I'm using the remove function and then within the remove function I'm specifying the list argument to be equal to the set diff function and within the set diff function I am again specifying the ls function and then I am also specifying the name of the data object that I want to keep. So if you run line 8 of the code you can see that our workspace is changed. So now only the second data object that we have created before is still kept in our workspace. We can also check that by running the ls function again as you can see in line 10 of the code and then you can see at the bottom that only the second data object, data2, has been retained in our workspace. So in this video I have explained how to remove all objects but one from the R programming workspace. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.